All right, next up, we're going to walk through some of the similarities and differences between meiosis and mitosis. And I know we opened this uh, chapter with some of these similarities and differences, but it's really important. And so we're going to go over it again in a little bit greater depth. So starting off with meiosis, meiosis is going to have two nuclear divisions, whereas mitosis only has one. In meiosis, we are going to see genetic variation during um, that chromosome synapsing and those crossing over events, something that does not occur in mitosis. The centromeres are going to survive anaphase 1, meaning that in that first st stage of anaphase, all we're doing is separating the homologous chromosomes. We're going from diploid number to haploid number, but we are not separating sister chromosomes chromatids at the centromere. Um, unlike mitosis, during the mitotic anaphase, we're going to see instant separation of those sister chromatids. Meiosis is ultimately going to have the number of chromosomes. Um, in other words, we're going from a diploid number to a haploid number. Um, whereas mitosis, that's not the goal of mitosis. In mitosis, we don't want genetic variation. We do not want the skin cells on my knee to be completely different than the skin cells found everywhere else. We want to make sure that everybody has the exact same instruction manual, has the exact same DNA. So we're going to preserve our chromosome number and we're going to maintain um, the genetic reliability of the uh, nucleus. Meiosis is going to produce four daughter nuclei. Mitosis only produces two daughter nuclei. The, in meiosis, the daughter cells are going to be genetically different, as opposed to mitosis, where the daughter cells are going to be genetically um, identical. Finally, meiosis is only used for sexual reproduction. Uh, mitosis is going to be used for asexual reproduction or growth or repair, depending on whatever uh, the organism needs at the moment. So in terms of their similarities, both mitosis and meiosis are an orderly series of stages involved in the sorting and division of chromosomes. Um, in both cases, those stages include the very similar phases of prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Sorry, anaphase is missing from that section. Um, the spindle fibers are going to play an active role in sorting out the chromosomes. And cytokinesis is going to follow at the end of the process to divide the cytoplasm between the daughter cells. Here's another table that kind of shows the similarities and um, the differences between meiosis 1 and mitosis. And then it's going to do the same thing again for meiosis 2 and mitosis. And you'll see that meiosis 2 and mitosis are almost exactly the same, whereas there is quite a bit of a difference between meiosis 1 and mitosis, um, just depending on whatever the goals are for each of those stages.